Now, let's analyze the methodology behind Teen Topics. Teen Topics is based on a model of experiential learning, in which learning is defined as the active construction of meaning from direct experience. The model is based on two fundamental premises. A. That experience is essential for learning. And B. That in order to learn effectively, people need to reflect on experience in order to interpret it and use what they learned in further experiences. The implication for ELT is that students will learn the language better if they are involved in doing things in the language rather than being passive receptors of the language. In the experiential learning cycle, doing means being exposed to a socially relevant text. This text can be oral or written, and students can derive meaning from it through authentic listening or reading tasks. In the EFL classroom, this becomes the first stage of the lesson. Doing is interpreting an oral or a written text. Look at the pictures in this page, okay? Can you look at them? Yes. Very good. So, for this one, please, uh, Fernando, read the instructions. Work in body. In pairs. <laughs> Look at the receipt and pictures and write the title. Okay. Look at the recipe, okay? Look at these pictures, all of you. Look at the pictures, and you're going to tell me which the correct title is. What are the three titles you have, Maria? So look at the pictures and tell me what they are talking about. Okay. What are the elements okay, of a recipe? What are you going to find in a recipe? Uh, Fatima. The title, what do you need? Like both well, the ingredients. Ingredients, and very good. And ingredients. Uh, that means what else can you find in a recipe? The process. The process, okay. What else can you find? Pictures. Pictures, okay, normally. Maria, you would like to say pictures. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Exercise number two, okay? You are going to work in pairs. You do, you do. Uh, At the second stage of the cycle, students are asked to observe a specific language point contained in the text and notice something about it. For example, patterns and irregularities in the foreign language, and similarities or differences with their native language. This is an awareness-raising stage. Can you see the subject in these sentences? No. No. So, if this sentence had a subject, what would the subject be? Imagine the subject. What is the subject in this sentence? You. you. Okay? The subject in these sentences is you. Yeah. Why is a you written in this sentence? Why? Because they are instructions. Okay? Remember that instructions are always for you. Okay? So that's why the subject is not mentioned. But it is already now what the subject is. The subject is you. you. Very good. Okay. Now, we are going to form teams of five people, okay? So, it can be you, one, two, three, four, five, yes? One, two, three, four, five, okay? One, two... After noticing, students need to develop a concept about the aspect of the language they noticed. They may attempt to produce a rule or try to describe how they think that aspect of the language works. This is the conceptualization or learning stage of the cycle. Yes, reflect on language. Yes, everybody? Yes. Instructions. Work in pairs. Look at the instructions again and underline the correct way to give recipes. So you have two options in each one. For example, number one reads, you need to chop the nuts. Or the other option is chop the nuts. Which one is the correct, Daniela, to give instructions? 
chop nuts. Okay? Very good. Finally, students need to try out what they learned and experiment with the newly acquired language items. At this stage, students are given activities to put the new language into practice and integrate it with previously learned language. This means using the language purposefully in order to produce meaningful oral or written texts. We are going to work to play charades. Do you know what charade is? Yes. Yes, but you have to mind, you have to act, okay? And the other team has to guess what you mean, okay? Okay, now, so this team is going to compete with this team. And this team with this one, okay? So one person from this team, one person from this team. Come here, one person and one person. Well, okay? So, you tell him to whisper in the ear one instruction. He has to add the instruction to his team. And they have just three opportunities to get an instruction. Is it clear? Yes. The same here. You are going to whisper an instruction in her ear. Now, she has to add the instruction to her team and they have to guess what the instruction is. You have three opportunities to guess it. Is it clear? So, do it. Okay, okay. Chop, chop. Onion. Onion. Very good. Very good. You got it. Thus, by following the experiential learning cycle, students move from concrete experience, or doing, to reflective observation, or noticing, then to abstract conceptualization, or learning, and then to active experimentation, or using.